Long ago, in a land you might remember from your dreams, the power of randomness was celebrated by all. Those with dice would roll them to shape their destinies, and the bravest few would challenge each other in games of chance. Epic tournaments, in which their very lives would hang in the balance. was in the era of the dice wielders and like all eras it too would come to an end fading into legend and mystery our story begins later in Wandcroft a small village populated entirely by people who have never once been dealt a fair hand. Attention, Warners! I am the Queen, and my dark dice will decide your fate. Random rules! See that, Bernard? You're a sixer. Oh, wow! I'm gonna live in the Queen's Dream Palace for the rest of my... <laughs> Nuh-uh, you're a dirty three, doomed to a life of fighting and misery. That's cheating! Well, so is having an almighty dice, snake eye. <coughs> Stop, you guys. Wrap this up. We should really get going. It's just a game, sis. Even I promised Mom and Dad to get you home. The Queen! It's the Queen! <laughs> hey! Was that really necessary? Come on, hurry up! Now we really have to run! Odd, wait! Stay behind me, sis. We've got to run home and hide. Now!
Random rules! Random rules! That's Nanny Fortuna. Works for the Queen, kidnapping children for her. Kidnapping? And so the Queen decreed that any child who had reached the age of 12 would be given the grand honor of rolling her one true dice. Which would reveal to them their place in the world of random. Check out this secret portal. Bring me all of the children. Ah, uh, it's uh, an old crawl space. It works for us. Nice work, Bernie. Let's go. For the Queen's wisdom is as wide as her power, which is infinite. Which makes it very easy for all of you to do what she says. Since she is and ever shall be correct. And though you may feel a twinge of emotion when you watch your children move to their knees, ensure that you are feeling the correct emotion, which is joy. Joy that the Queen's plan for us is so grand. Joy that her one true dies has deigned to fix the fate of your offspring. And joy, yes, joy, that today her representative, me, the Nene Fortuna, is coming. Even odd. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried to. There's no time. She'll be here any minute. Quick, get down. Happy birthday. Oh, even! And I got a present for you. It's so cute! Make a wish! And the Queen said, every child of 12 years shall throw this supreme dice, and so it was. For random is fair, random prevails, and random rules. Random rules! Be grateful, child, that the Queen herself is here for your special day. Now roll the dice, and let's see what kind of person you truly are. <gasps> no. It had been settled. <laughs> At least, she'll be a sixer. Stop it! No, even and so, Odd's destiny came to be living by the side of the Queen up in the Sixer's palace. Well, it was said all dreams came true. But Even's nightmare was just beginning.
More than a year had passed since her sister had been taken away from her, and in all that time, even had never dreamed like that before. Even knew she was now awake, and knew this was the same house she'd lived in her entire life. But something seemed off. Something seemed different. A portrait of Uncle Jinx. It was said he'd sailed the seven seas, and then drowned in the eighth. A painting of Aunt Cordelia. She could play every single musical instrument in Wancroft, which was impressive, but none of them well, which was markedly less impressive. An image of great-great-great-grandmother Waters. She was the woman who'd invented sliced bread, which made everyone very excited. Well, before then, they'd just taken great big bites out of loaves. An image of great-great-grandfather Peters. Two hundred years ago, he ate all his clothing to win a bet. Even supposed that was the reason this portrait stopped at the neckline. Even's mother had always painted, and she'd share with Even the stories she'd hidden in her paintings. Wonderful tales of daring heroines and dashing adventure. She told her never to share these stories with the outside world. These stories might upset the queen, and she had eyes and ears everywhere. Odd shoes, little parts of her life, still dotted their house. It didn't make it a happy house, but that was fine by Ethan. She never wanted to forget her sister. Even's parents had locked the door securely, as they had every night since Odd was taken. These paintings showed stories Even's mother told her was safe to share, because they were true. Well, so she said. Even's father never told her stories. He preferred reality to fantasy. The physicality of hammers and nails to the ephemeral mists of dreams and fantasy. Oh, it was still very late. Or was it very early? And even didn't want to wake her parents. Even's father never told her stories. He preferred re- These paintings showed stories Even's mother told her was safe to share, because they were true. Well, so she said. Like the story of the card makers of Five Town, who'd suffered a horrible fate. The scariest painting Even's mother had ever made was of the Shadow Man, a mysterious figure who'd gobble up children who'd ventured too far from home. Even was too old to believe in such stories, or at least that's what she told herself. stuffed animal she'd given odd on the night she was taken. Even knew her parents would be heartbroken when they woke and found her missing. But she had to go. She had to know. seemed to keep its distance from even. When she got closer, it moved further away. It was leading her. 
somewhere. Oof. Easy there, even. What are you doing out so darn late? You're running like the old witch Uma put a curse on you. Oh, darling. You're thinking about your sister, aren't you? I feel you, child. I do. But she's been gone now a year. Ah, that spark in your eye tells me you're not fooling around. I remember being your age once, I do. And I know how important imagination can seem. All right, all right, I'll get out of your way. But don't tell your parents you saw me, deal? You're quite welcome, young Miss Even. And stay away from the outskirts. This was Wongroft, the world in which Even and her small family live. Like all Wonners, they hauled junk for the cargo ships that came and went in the night. All this labor was done for reasons that were never clearly understood. The Queen willed it, and no one would dare oppose her, and that was enough for everyone. Everyone, that is, except Even. Burn, just hit it. It's right there. He's trying, Lucky. Aw, oh, shucks. Now I'm all out of potatoes. <laughs> no breakfast tomorrow, and you couldn't hit the... What are you doing here, anyway? Yeah, even. Are your parents letting you out after dark now? Honestly, even, I gotta say, I'm impressed. Never thought you had it in you to break a precious rule. Don't be mean, Lucky. I'm not mean. That was a compliment. I think you're cool, even. Even if you should listen to your parents more. My parents say listening to them is the coolest thing of all. You guys are so touchy. We're playing. She was talking to me. I think she was talking to all of us. Even we're playing. We're playing hit the pot with the potato. Or rather, I'm playing. These two bloobs are just losing at it. I couldn't sleep. My 12th birthday is coming up. Mine too. Gonna get to roll the dice when it comes. I'm gonna be a sixer. I know it. I'll be saying bye to all you bloobs and hi to the riches of Sixtopia. I'm not a bloob. I'm a star. My mom says so. I'm not a bloob either. Uh, what's a bloob? You getting a load of these bloobs, even? Well, that's just her bad luck. Not the sort of thing I've ever had to worry about. Really? How come? Because my name is Lucky, and... He meant how come even thinks it didn't work out, Lucky? Yeah, right. Like a sixer would ever care about her wanna. Please. It could happen. You don't know. I think it sounds mysterious. I love mysteries. Have fun with your cool mystery, even. See you later.
Whoa! Not bad, even. I knew you could do it. Lucky shot. I'm not impressed. I could do that too if I wanted. No problem. That was amazing, Ethan. Hey, shut up. Like you're looking for something, kid. <laughs> ah, I thought I recognized you. Your odd sister, right? Did the big roll a year ago, if I recall. She's in the Queen's care now, kiddo. There's nothing any of us can do. And I think you should give up on her, even. She's a sixer now. Nobody ever comes back from that. You saw it, didn't you? There it was again. Halt! None shall enter the docks tonight by order of Her Majesty. Uh, random rules. Whatever that spirit wanted, it seemed to involve bringing even here. But why?
Random rules, even. Random rules. Big city life. Oh, it must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. So... two-sided. You ever wonder what life's like in the other zones? Oh, it must be so wonderful there. Be recognized as the best of us. <laughs> I hear everyone works so hard there. It's where the magical cards used to be made, you know. Before the war, it was a sight to behold. Now, though, after the Queen ruined it trying to find those <coughs> awful rebels, it's so dreadful there. The glory of battle, yours for the taking. I could be a hero. Big city life. How oh, must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. So two-sided. I wasn't born here, you know. I was born in Forberg. <laughs> Only I turned 12 and the queen came and made me rule. Rolled myself for one. She told me I was born in the wrong town, and now I'm here. And I'll never get back there again. That's just the way things are. In a way, she saved me from the misery of Forberg. It's not what it used to be. It doesn't have to be equal, to be fair. It's what my mom always used to say. For she... Before I... Well... It's, uh... Ancient history now. The Queen works in mysterious ways, and it's up to us to follow her rules. Random rules. I still remember how I felt rolling that dice, knowing what was about to happen. And when it landed on one... Gosh! <sighs> I don't think it's the sort of thing I'll ever forget. By the dice, I'm haunted enough already. <laughs> I don't need more of them. See you around, kid.
strange figure even knew that her fate was changing, that her future was suddenly filled with unknowns, and she also had the distinct feeling that she wouldn't be back home for quite some time. even could barely make out what the ghostly figure was. It was beautiful, inscrutable, and there seemed to be a sorrow to her. There was no time to think, even was either going home to her parents without answers and with even more questions than before, or she was getting on that boat. She felt a pull beckoning towards something new. Some nice cards you have there, kiddo. You find them yourself. Well, heck, let me take a look. Maybe, maybe these old papers will notice something you haven't. Well, look at these. Oh, these used to be everywhere, you know that? Oh, folks had trade them on the regular. Used to have quite a collection myself. I got, I got them straight from the factories in five tropolis where they made them, you know. Mint in books. Of course, it was before the war. A lot changed that night. We're still dealing with the consequences. Yeah, look around you, Missy. This ain't what things used to be. This ain't what things are supposed to be, either. The Queen, she distorted it all. Turned us from good, honest folks into... Uh, into whatever this is now. Only most don't remember it. Only me, it feels like sometimes.
doing here? 